Our next guest made a name for herself singing and dancing and flying across the Broadway stage as Peter Pan. But I'd be willing to bet that most of you remember her from this as well. Take a look. They're just loaded with natural whole wheat, and they're really delicious, right from the box or with something on top. Wheat Thins, the light little cracker with the big wheat taste. I just love them. I just love her. Sandy Jenkins. mutual friend and he sends me pies for opening nights and he knows that you like pies so I got in from Chicago last night and he had this pie waiting there that he cooked for you. Oh how sweet is that? It's very sweet. I'm gonna keep it in tomorrow when Tom Cruise is here I'm gonna give him a piece of the pie because he might like pie He too. might like pie You too. never know. <laughs> how are you Sandy? I am great. Are you tired? You're doing That's Christmas. We're doing That's Christmas in, in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Like 97 shows a week. 103. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. <laughs> no 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 no. We're doing a lot of shows though, but I have to I, listen first of all you're so popular do you know that no I don't you're loved whatever everybody in the cast they love they, they said say hello to Rosie and I have uh, hi to everybody all, hi, they're all everyone. watching hello. and um, I've never done a, a talk show before where everybody just literally thinks they know you tell her this tell her that I, say, I can't say hi from everybody but everybody tells you but hi. do I know them or they just no, they oh. just love you because sometimes when I go out people will say that hey Ro I go yeah they go yeah uh, what happened that day and I'm going do I know you they go, no no no, no, I no, just no I just wanted you to know. Yeah, it's a very strange I had thing. never seen your show. Oh, thanks. No, 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 wait. It's no, 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 no. It's not because I'm being like, you know, snotty or anything, no, but I have two kids and yes. I'm working and I have a husband. We've been moving and renovating. And somebody sent me tapes when I was going to come do the show. And you're just great. Oh, well, thanks, Sandy. You are. You are. I'm having fun. I tell you shows. that much. I'm a show. Now, did you move again? Because I went and looked yes. at your apartment. You looked at our it's so apartment. funny. But it wouldn't be right for you because all those steps. Yes. the baby, yeah. We moved to a brownstone and we've been renovating again. This is like two years of renovation we've been in, but it's worth it because we have a little garden and yeah. Very funny. I went to look at apartments. I walk in there, Sandy Duncan. <laughs> like, oh my <laughs> and then you and your, your hubby, Don. Yeah, Don. And your two, two sons. Michael and Jeffrey. And now they're out in LA or are they here? No, we live here now. They're here. We moved back two years ago. To so New York. What, when do you commute from Chicago or you don't really have a day off? The, today is my day off. I flew in last night, and I'm coming in next week. And then they, that's why I never travel with, you, you, you know, when they were little, like your, your son's little. I took them everywhere. But once they got in school, I don't take shows that travel. Right. But this was during holiday time, yeah. this big Christmas extravaganza, so I could go there because they can come spend the holidays with me. So it's great. And are they missing you? Must be hard. Well, one is. One misses. They both miss me, but in different styles. Uh, the one I'm just sort of dead till I come home, as far as he's concerned. No, really? I, you know, I call on the phone. He goes, yeah, yeah, mm, right. And the other one, you know, calls me constantly. So it's two different personalities. Yeah. But they're faring. They're faring as well as I'm the one who's not faring so well. Sure, it's hard to I miss them. I cried when Christmas. I left. Yeah. You know, and we're seeing each other every ten days. It's not like. You know, but it must be great to get to do the show. You're flying again. I'm Everyone flying, knew you flew in Peter singing. Pan. That legendary story of when you stopped the show one night. Oh. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the wire got hung around a light pole, and the little kid kept going. So Peter, how do you fly? I said, you just think lovely, wonderful thoughts, and up you go. Peter, how do you fly? Like the sixth time I fly, he said, "Will you shut up? Just <laughs> shut up." And I said, "Can we just unhook the wire? You paid a lot of money to see this flying, so we got unhooked, and I flew." Now in this one, I've been flying every time, but there was, the guy that flies me was missing two of the shows, and the guy that was standing in for him just like beamed all the dancers in the back of the head. I was like, you know, yeah, we have a tape of you flying, not you're me hitting them. No, though. not you beating the people, but you're flying as Rudolph here. Look, take a. I hope we do. There we go. Well, you probably beam them, right? Coming right down. Yeah, I knocked them down like smack, bowling smack, pins. Smack, boom, smack, boom, 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 boom. You see? Yeah. Is it scary to do that? To do the flying part? No. No. Because no. I'm nearsighted. Oh, yeah. You get used to it, though? Well, you get used to it. You have a, have a lot of back strength, and it's great fun. Then I do a, a flight out over the audience, and um, th the thing is, I think, as I said, being nearsighted helps because I don't see what's coming and what's going. I'm just, like, right. flying. Right. <laughs> and the only scary part is it is like a piano wire. The Foy guys fly me, and I had this dream toward the end of Peter Pan, like about the thousandth performance, that one of the stagehands had it in for me. It was like sawing the mm -hmm. wire, and every night a little thing would go ping, ping, and it was unraveling, and I thought, I've got to stop this show because something is going to happen. Here I am back flying again. But, you know, that's like an episode of Murder, She Wrote. 
what? Just yeah. like that, oh, yeah, like you know, that. like you're the star yes. that's flying and, and somebody this is chisels sawing it. Away your, and Angela your Lansbury eye. comes in <laughs> and, and goes, solves it. it looks like it's been sore, <laughs> you know? <laughs> And then you try to get, that's probably why you thought of it. Well, the show, that's Christmas. You're at the Schubert Theater in Chicago. So January 5th, and we're, it's like, it's Scott Sanders, you know Scott Sanders. I know Scott Put very Put this well. show together, and it's like the biggest hit, and they're so thrilled, because it was a gamble. You know, they're trying to do these traditional shows for every big city in the right. country, like a radio city, only this is like Broadway and variety and hard dancing and singing. And but you the do kids it in so this well. Great. Well, the, this cast is unbelievable. Well, you tell them all, even though I don't know them, I said hello. We well, you know Ula Hedwig, she used to be I a Harlette. Yes. And uh, Avon says hi, they all say hi, well, it was so sweet. Tell them I said hi back, and if I could fly to Chicago, I would, but I got this daily gig, you know, it's hard. <laughs> But it's That's Christmas. If you're in Chicago or the surrounding areas, go see it at the Schubert. Yeah, Sandy Duncan, thank you very much. Good to see you.